Hi, my name is Jordan Pettiford. My name is Caitlin Wolf, and we're doing a project on a differential equation analysis of blood alcohol content. Blood alcohol content is used to determine the level of sobriety. By using differential equations, the author in our study developed a relationship between time and blood alcohol level. This is useful for developing breathalyzing equipment. There were three variables used in the study, A, B, and C. A was the concentration of alcohol in the stomach, B is the concentration of alcohol in the blood, and C is the concentration of byproducts in the blood after alcohol is consumed. Byproducts being what's left over after alcohol is metabolized by the liver. Our differential equation representing blood alcohol content as a function of time is shown here. This contains three variables, A0, K1, and K2. These graphs illustrate blood alcohol level as a function of time in minutes. Our changing variable was A0. A0 re represents the initial amount of alcohol consumed. A0 originally was 245 milligrams per liter in the stomach. This is demonstrated with the graph on the left. The blood alcohol level reached approximately 170 milligrams per liter. We have changed this initial condition to 100 milligrams per liter. The graph on the right represents someone of the same body quality who consumed less alcohol. As you can see, the blood alcohol level is significantly lower, only reaching 70 milligrams per liter. This proves the notion that the more alcohol consumed, the higher the blood alcohol level will be. The two unchanging variables from our differential equation were K1 and K2. These are rate log constants. The reasons they are unchangeable during this experiment is because they depend on physical qualities of each individual. They can change depending on weight, age, size of stomach, amount of blood in the system, and liver function. For the sake of this experiment, we kept these values constant, assuming the same individual is ingesting different amounts of alcohol as shown previously on the graphs.